Eric YouTube, we're back again from our Origins Bonanza Explosion Blog coverage. We're playing them hot, loading them out, doing all that good stuff. Right now, uh, I'm excited to be talking about the... Oh, I'm here with my friend Adam. Hey! Hey, what's up? And we're going to be talking about Smash City, brand new game from WizKids. We got a chance to play this. Four players. Uh, we played it four players. It's two to four players, 30 minutes, ages 14 plus, which you can pretty much disregard. You can probably play this eight, nine, ten year olds. Uh, but this is a three-dimensional city with these giant monsters killing each other and also destroying the city at the same time. Uh, the, the board is the city of the board. I, I say board. There's actually just a folded up piece of paper, which I'm wondering if that's double-sided. That's double sided I think that'd be kind of cool. Okay. Not too sure. I'm pretty sure you can find that on Board Game Key. Um, we played a whole game of this, and how it works is on your turn, you're going to take your monster, which is actually like this really big, cool foam dice. It's probably about this big nay and nay I guess mm -hmm. and you underhand just throw it at the city and in the city there's like these cardboard uh, buildings that are in there that are the just you know two pieces and they're just kind of interweaved like this uh, there's army people in there there's cars in there there's the other monsters in there and what you're trying to do essentially is knock over buildings and get the buildings to hit other people and once you do that you also have the ability to uh, attack people and look at the die that you rolled and see what special action that triggers. And each monster had his own kind of asymmetrical abilities. Maybe sometimes they'd be throwing cars or they could get these power-up tokens, which is how you won the game, or they could deal more damage or whatnot. And um, yeah, you could also fight the army. What'd you think about the game? Uh, well, yeah, you could fight the army on the, on the other side of the army card. There's like a special thing that would happen when you beat that. Uh, on, same thing with the cars, you could destroy the cars and those gave you a special thing on the bottom, uh, which was okay. Things would uh, catch on fire too. And the fire actually, oh, we, didn't, yeah. we didn't really see that come into play too much, but that was kind of interesting because when you caught a building on fire, I mean, some were electricity, or some were whatever, yeah, you yeah, catch yeah. it on fire. <laughs> um, that would actually be a good place for you to go because it would allow you to heal and it'd be a bad place for other people to go because it'd make them take additional damage. Mm -hmm. And how it essentially works is as soon as uh, one of the monsters get knocked out by their, their number going all the way to 10, which I thought was odd going to 10, yeah. but whatever. Um, you tally up the points and you see what's the game. There's also special ability cards. I forgot to mention special ability cards you're gonna be getting that will let you bend the rules of the game, break the rules of the game, just do some other different things. Uh, there's a good deal of those cards mm -hmm. as well. What did you think about it? Um, I w did not care for it much. Uh, I thought that, yeah, it's, it's a cool concept. Like, you know, you're throwing this thing and knocking stuff down. That's really fun. It looks uh, cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, I thought the player eight cards were not the best. They could have been a little more refined. Uh, what have, uh, you have issues with? Uh, it, just, it just looked like... <laughs> I don't know. It didn't look the best. Yeah. I, I will go there. I think the graphic design... So, yeah. you, you had to... Uh, the face of the dice had... You had to figure out which, which face was on that. That wasn't super clear at the beginning, and some of the stuff, it was like, yeah, it's just a green blob. <laughs> yeah. And, and so, like, you had to really look to see it. I, I will say, the lighting where we were playing it was not the best, so maybe that added to that. Um... Yeah, I, I, it was okay. I would probably play it with my little kids just so that they could throw things and knock things down. See, and I'm in the same boat. I think it was okay. I don't think I'd go as far to say I thought it was a, a particularly good game after the first impression, mm -hmm. albeit that. Uh, I feel like we saw everything in there. And he pretty much said there's no additional monsters, no, no this, no that. I mean, it was what you saw was there. You haven't commented too much on the components. I will in a second. Uh, but that's the other thing. It's just essentially, you know, you're chucking the dice and then it's like, oh, whatever it is on the die face I'm doing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't feel like there was, like I would have liked maybe yeah, some dice no manipulation decision. or choosing or I just. I guess you decide what you attack, but yeah. kinda, kinda. Yeah, the cards were interesting. I did like some of the special cards. I thought some of those were interesting. They were situational mm -hmm. cards, but you could kind of set yourself up for the situation. So I did like the cards. My biggest issue with this game was that I feel like they got stuck in the middle. And you talk about how you'd like to play this with the younger kids, but for me personally, I just, I didn't feel like it was really catered towards the younger kids as much as I would like. And I felt like they tried to cater a little bit more to the adults, but at the same time, I, I feel like they didn't cater to the adults enough with the game. And so it's in this weird kind of zone. 
where I didn't think it was going to be a great family game that was going to get played a lot. And at the same time, I definitely know I don't think this is a game that if you have, you're going to be playing a lot for most people as like a game night game or anything like that. Yeah. I, I would much rather play Rampage, which has you destroying a little city. I would much rather play King of Tokyo, which has you, you know, it's Being definitely a monsters, different experience, yeah. but it's monsters and you're trying to destroy each other. Uh, and, and the components, they, I mean, I think, I'm pretty sure the board was paper. Like, I think it was just yeah. a folded up map, which, you know, it is what it is, but, you know, you get in this big box, you kind of mm. want it to look good. Um, while the city did look cool, and I will say the city looked really sick and cool once it started to get destroyed and mm. the buildings were falling over. You know, I would have liked there to be some more detail in there because it has like this block system where it's like if you're on this block, this. Yeah. And, and I felt like the graphic design was like this looks pro. It looked prototype. It did look prototype. That's the biggest issue I have with these mm. components is that the whole thing looked prototype and you know i'm not saying that impacts the gameplay but if you're buying this bo big box and you go to this convention you're like all right maybe i'll buy three or four games i want that game to at least look good this is mm -hmm. not 1992 where we're shipping out a game that looks like a prototype is cool and and, and you know I'm, I'm just gonna say it i just said it. in the end i think both of us were hobo for the game yeah i think okay I would play it again. Do I have a desire to play it again? No, I don't. Like, I'd play it again to see if I was wrong about the first time, but the first time was so unspectacular to yeah, me that if I never I'll play the game ever again, I'm cool. I'm right. cool with that. Uh, and, and here's the other thing. I don't know what, like, in expansion of the future that could make the game better. I don't know really what they could add that would, would sway me that much. <laughs> Honestly, if they, if they eliminated the powers and just made it like... <laughs> You throw like yeah, and, and target it at go you know, to the kids or two, go to the yeah, kids. two to six and, and throw you know like they are just destroying things and oh it's very simple like you do damage on you know because the building fell over oh you do damage because your dice hit his dice and that's another thing I didn't feel like that was the clearest either I think I wish that would have been on the player eight card there was a lot of unused space in the player eight card I would like to know exactly what scores me points because there was sometimes I was confused it was like. Yeah. In the end, meh. Yeah. But, meh. there you go. That's Smash Shitty from Whiskins. If it looks like it might be a cup of tea, be sure to check that one out. I love saying that <laughs> after we say stuff like that. But, if you enjoy what we're doing, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Uh, if you want to support the channel, click on the little Amazon Associates link down below. It really does help support the channel. And in the comments below, let me know what's your favorite game that involves throwing something. Like not not a sport game, but an actual like board game. Whatever you want. Because uh, there's like no board games that throw things. <laughs> yeah, no, there was that that alien one that we played. Yeah. Uh, throwing things. I, I'm gonna say uh, bags. Uh, cornhole. Cornhole. Uh, I'm gonna go with Kingdom's Lawn Game, which is, oh, it's so stinking good. Oh yeah, that's really good. Oh, did you get a chance to play that? Uh, yeah, I I looked up videos on it, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm I'm gonna buy this game. And you're like, oh, I, I have that game. Yeah, I I had to ship back the prototype. That's one of the few times where I really wanted to be like, oh, the, the, I must have got lost in the mail, brother. <laughs> but yeah, now it's being made. It's actually got a made. They got the straight oh, six. Really? Let me know in the comments below. What's your favorite throwing board game? What throwing game? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Yeah, they got that funded, and I'm I'm, oh. I'm gonna read.